Hey, hey, what it do, what it do, what it do. This is your boy, KQ, KC Boxing Network. Back with they not the one. That's right. Now, first of all, I want to thank everyone who donates to the channel, the PayPal, the Cash App, and also that Super Chat. That's right. Keep in mind, I do come on at 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time. And that's to 2.30 p.m. Central Time. I do not come on for one hour. Let's get that right straight right damn now. Now, let's talk about it. Ha <laughs> ha! Cal Brook and Terrence Crawford. Both of their asses finally got off that pine. They got off that bench. Now they're trying to get a fight made. Now, according to Bo Mack, why should we fight someone that doesn't have a belt? That was Keith Thurman. But now we're talking about Cal Brook. We're talking about Eddie Hearn. That's what we are talking about. You see. See, see. Negotiations already have started for a fight between Kell Brook and Bud Crawford. And they're trying to get this for November 14th. Of course, on ESPN, not plus, regular ESPN. Now, Bud Crawford, who is what they say, uh, 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 what they say is the pound for pound, 36 and 0 with 27 KOs. Keep in mind, he ain't done shit at 147, but hey, that's my opinion. And I have a right to express it, right? All right. Now, he will be defending his WBO. Paid in ball four. Oh, who said that? Yes, the WBO welterweight title against the 34-year-old Brook, who hasn't fought at 147 since his 11-round TKO by Earl Spence. And that was in 2017. What we in? 20? Oh, almost 21. Okay. All right. All right. We get it. We get it. Okay. It helps Crawford that Brooke no longer fights at 147. And will have to lose a lot of weight. So Cal Brook's going to be drained like he was drained when he fought Earl Spence. But stubborn as he is. Earl Spence took him to the deep waters and drowned him. Now, Cal is at the top of top ranks list as far as the most opponent for the 32-year-old uh, uh, Crawford. The next opponent, I'm sorry. Now, with this pandemic going on, Brooke is about as good as he's going to get for Terrence Crawford. Let's be honest, okay? Hell, motherfucker, Sharon Porter. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Keith Thurman. Oh, I'm sorry. I could go on and on. Oh, you guys. But see, the question ain't Kel Brook. The question is Terrence Crawford. I'm not shitting on Terrence Crawford. Don't get me wrong. Maybe a little bit. He's a good fighter. But you know me. You know KQ. K motherfucking C. I speak in reality. I speak in truth. All right? And this is the truth. He has been inactive. Yes, I get it. You used to make him more money, but I'm sorry. This ain't the time. Those days is not right here. Happy day may come again. But once you're a champion, you have to defend that belt as a champion. Once you are a champion, you cannot say no in your vocabulary. Once you are a champion, you know they're going to come for your ass. See, the easy part is getting the belt. The hard part is keeping the bitch. But it gets easier when you don't fight. Hello? Oh, somebody. <laughs> Talk to me. Now, to get a better opponent, then Brooke will cost Ty Rank a lot of money. 
this is a pandemic time and that's not doable right now all right now if brooke isn't completely weight drained from melting down to 147 he'll give crawford a lot of problems and maybe even beat him see i don't know about you but in the back of my brain all the way in the back what if Terrence Crawford loses? What if he get exposed? Huh? Because we have to... Hey, look. Hey, I'm sorry, Terrence Crawford fans. We have to admit. He was at his best at 140. At 147, he ain't done shit. Let's be honest here. Matter of fact, he fought Jeff Horn, who's fighting right now on ESPN+. Plus. <laughs> Somebody talk to me. It's been years since Brooke fought at 147. Shit. So now he got to melt down. Now, Keith Thurman, he offered to take the fight too. But he supposedly wanted $10 million. And come on, let's be realistic. He's, his ass wasn't going to get that. But that's what it's called negotiations for. Hello. Ah, ah, ah. Hello. Now, Crawford, Brooke, is sold on ESPN pay per view. As was the case with Crawford versus Amir Khan. There's not going to be a lot of money for Brooke. You're going to have to get used to it. All right? You're going to have to take that little gal out somewhere else. Maybe to uh, Bonanza or Ponderosa or some shit. Huh? But once you're a champion, once you are a boxer, it doesn't matter. Sometimes, I know, you're risking your life, you're risking your health. You risking your brain. But see, it's not all about that. It's about pride. It's about who has the biggest heart. It's about who will fight anybody. That's one thing I can say about Adrian. Oh, I'm sorry. Twin. He will fight anybody at any given time for any motherfucking amount of money. Now, he ain't going to get no 12 motherfucking million. But let's be honest. He will fight. He will fight. Now, he might not let his hands go when he get in there, but he will fight. Now, it would be a bad idea for Top Rank and ESPN to peddle the Brook fight on pay-per-view this year. As boxing fans are likely to be careful with their money due to the pandemic. However... This is a fight that wouldn't sell even during a strong economy. Hey, I'm sorry. I call it like it is. Brooke isn't a big name, people. And his career disappeared following his consecutive stoppages, losses to uh, Triple G and Earl Spence. Triple G busts one eye, Earl Spence busted the other one. We're looking at a motherfucking robot man, huh? Oh, y'all don't hear me. <laughs> y'all don't hear me. Y'all hear Lonnie Bridge is falling motherfucker down. Kel bro. Huh? Hello. Anthony Joshua. Hello. And recently Dylan White. Hello. And Tyson Fury. First fight. Hello. See, sometimes in life, you got to take the good with the damn bad. And Bud Crawford, in order for you to get that money fight with Earl Spence, when things probably would be back to normal, you got to put in that work. You can't sit there idly by and don't do shit for two years. I'm sorry. But that's what champions are made of. I am KQ. KC Boxing network if you like the content of this video feel free right now to subscribe subscribe to my channel hit the icon bell that way you get notified each and every time i come on or do a video or call a fight this saturday i will be calling two fights if i can call three i'm gonna call all three fights this weekend I be grinding. That's what I do. I provide a service 
for my subscribers. And they are loyal motherfucking chat. They are. And keep in mind, I do come on. Monday through Friday, 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time. On time. Then I go off at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Blue Blood Sports, come on right after me. I come on right after Fanon. That's how it goes. That's how it is. I am the singing OG. KQ. KC. Boxing Network. And shout out. And shout out. To the almighty LDBC. I'm out of here. I'm on to the next motherfucking one.